Hello my friends, I am G Hondo and welcome back to our Let's Play of OpenTTD Season 2. This is episode 74. At the end of episode 73 we just started working on a mission to get steel to Great Lewis Head and as you can see by the notes I left myself we had just barely started. I got as far as connecting the uh, track from the iron mine to the steel mill but no further so that's where we're going to start. Get rid of these notes and let's get ourselves an iron train going here. Depot there will work. Okay, so this will be for iron. Let's say three of them. What was the production here like? Oh, production's pretty terrible. We'll make it two. <clears throat> the actual engine itself will not be even remotely bothered by two, having only two cars. It may not even notice them with that kind of horsepower, but there just isn't enough production here to warrant it. It's a pretty short route on this side, so it'll be going back and forth probably twice a month, if I had to guess. But either way. So this will be steel to reading port. Okay. Awesome. All right. Your actual track shall be here to here and at some point along the way to here. I'm not going to do full loads on this one because it just isn't that much iron anyway. Alright, so that one's green to go. Actually, I should have left that up actually. I do want, always like to watch the first run just to make sure it's actually going to make it. But I'll tuck it over here for now. Now we need to do the much longer trip to go from here all the way up to here. And it is a very, very long way. In fact, we also have to go around this enormous lake. Um, I could either go this side crossing one river, or I could go out and around. It's a bit further, but I don't have to cross any rivers. Eh, it's going to be a, a bad trip either way. So, Or, well, no, it's because at this point it's just steel. I don't think we can carry steel by air. Let me check real quick, but I don't think we can. No, we can only do goods. If it were the other way around, where I was taking then the goods from this factory to a city, I could use an airplane for it, but sadly, that is not going to be the case here, so we will have to do just another train. I'm going to cheat a little bit and make this a really ugly L-shaped station, just to give us some a little bit of room to maneuver this uh, uh, factory here being tucked right into the city like that. It's, it's a bit messy. Why did I close that window? Anyway, all right, so actually I could avoid this river entirely if I go just a little bit to the right here right away. It wouldn't even be that far. Maybe something like that. And then just run up beside the river for a while. I also have to dodge those cities, so I want to come down around. Oh, I'm going to have to go around all these cities anyway. So I may as well just go right up all the way to here. And then we can cut over diagonally like this. I think I'm dodging that forest, dodging that city, dodging that power plant. Okay. All right, now we're getting somewhere. So we need to add another track for this one to come in on. This one can be just beside it. It's not a big deal. And let's get some track going this way so I can see where I am. Uh, definitely a bit further. That is not lined up. Let's try that again. Hey, much better. Now I think I've overshot it. That's okay. Not a big deal. We'll fix it. We have the technology. Okay, zap that, zap that, and yeah, I think I've overshot it once there as well. Okay, let's just do that. Okay, now I know for sure it's fixed. Okay, and we need a depot for it, and that depot may as well be right about here, let's say, to go to places any. Right, so we'll have a TIM as usual. This will be hauling steel. 
there won't be much to haul, so two cars should be tons. 25 tons each, I might say. <laughs> okay, that was terrible. Please ignore that pun. That was not worth it. Anyway, this will be steel to Lewis Head. Great Lewis Head, I guess. Okay. Your route shall go here to here. And then all the way down to here. Okay. And with that, you are also going to go. We're going to watch both of these to make sure that they can go. I'm just going to leave it on low speed, because it's going to be hard for me to keep an eye on both of them. But I'm looking for either of them if they fail and have to turn around at any point. If I've got a break in the path anywhere. And these messages will not help me find that popping up in the way of the screen is not really helpful. <laughs> okay, so you see the cost zero, so it just upgraded the steel car to the bigger steel car. For reasons that still elude me, I can't just buy them directly, but anyway, that's fine. Alright, so both of these look like they're okay so far. I do see a little tiny hill here that I'm going to fix real quick. There's absolutely no reason for this little hill here, so we're going to get rid of it. No, no sense in slowing that train down for no reason. Okay. Alright, let's continue. That's a lot better already. Okay, so I know now for a fact that this train's path is complete, because it's now made it both ways. And soon this one will be okay too. This one also just had its upgrade done, although for some reason it charged me for it, but anyway, no matter. All right, so it's done small pickup. Well, that's terrible. Might just drop down to one car because there's really not much point. <laughs> anyway, so this one's still okay so far. It's just such a long, long trip. Okay, so this one is not profitable with two cars. I'm going to take the second car off. Um, it's very minor, but there's no sense in paying for that second car that's not doing anything. But otherwise, it's it's okay to go. But there's just so little production. And just dropped. It was 40 a moment ago. Um, there's so little production here. It's going to be tough for this thing to be profitable, but we shall see. over here again. And I guess dropping that one car will help it accelerate off that hill just that little bit quicker. But still, it's uh, it's not so good. And the other thing I am going to fix is I named it Steel to Radiant Port. It's actually iron on this side. Not a huge deal, but I don't want to confuse myself later. Okay, yeah, so it will be profitable. Just not very profitable, but it's fine. And we're still waiting on this one. This one hasn't had a chance to actually haul anything yet, but on this trip in, there is some steel waiting. I probably could drop this to one car as well, in all reality, but... The only reason I'm not is this trip here is so much shorter, it'll sometimes get two, maybe even three trips in before this one comes back, so... For now, I'll leave it on two cars, but I may very well drop that to one car later. Let's see how it goes. Shall have to wait and see. <laughs> yeah, it's dropping off a bit more. Okay, yeah, so it does actually have more than one car loads worth. Because these cars are 25s, if I remember right. Yes. Okay, so having the second car is good. Yeah, because that would be one completely full car, then there's four more on the side. So it's definitely not pushing two cars, but it is more than one can do, so. Alright, so now we've got the route, we know it's safe, I can put the speed up, let it get over there, and we'll see how much money it's going to make us. It's such a long trip, though, it's not going to be a, not going to be all that good, but anyway. Let's 
such a long trip. All right, here it comes. All right, buddy, tell me the story of how much 29 chunks of steel are worth. Apparently about 23,000, so it actually will still be profitable. Again, it's never going to make a lot of money because it takes so long to go back and forth, but it'll be profitable, so there's no worries about that. And that means that this mission will now finally start. It's going to be running a long, long time, though. We're going to be hauling generally around, you know, about 30 or so per trip. And this thing wants 5,300. So many, 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 many trips. Um, although this one that's also here for the grain should be finishing very soon. Because it's already two-thirds done and it only wants 500. And we are hauling about 12 at a time, so that's not too bad, um, but it will still be a lot longer than I thought it should be. The production over here must be absolutely terrible. Yes, it is, but it'll get done, so we'll just be patient. We'll speed up a lot, and it'll be fine. No problemo. We're almost out of 1988 as well. Getting very close to the modern era. Fantastic. Um, so what's likely to finish first? I still do think this green mission has a good chance. Um, this iron mission is well on its way, but I don't think it's going to be finishing particularly soon. Because um, I'm pretty sure that it's got a very weak iron mine. Yeah, it's, well, it's not terrible, but it's certainly not great. Um, and it does want a fair bit as well, so... We're hauling generally. Oh, we're actually keeping it full. Hauling 70 at a time. That's not bad. Excuse me, that's not bad at all. If we can keep that up, this actually will progress pretty nicely. 1 or 2% per trip, so. That's alright. That's alright. Let's check on our friends, the jerks, over at Bond Shop who still think I'm a jerk, but they have at least increased from atrocious to very poor. So they still don't like me, but it has improved a little bit. It probably helped that I fed them some money for a bit of growth. So that probably helped a little bit. But still, these people are jerks. <laughs> it's a pretty busy airport, even though there's only three planes that service it because they're going such a short run. It's not that short, I guess it's over to here. I guess they just happen to all be in the same place at the same time. I was going to say, it's a pretty busy airport, considering it only has three planes that actually use it. And all three of them happen to be sitting there at the same time. That was a bit unusual, but that's alright. That's okay. Let's check. It's been a while. Let's go and check on our boat fleets. Start with these guys down here. As I recall, this side was always fine, and this side was always a mess. Well, it's improving, at least on the passenger side, because this was close to 5,000. The mail situation seems to have gotten a lot worse. And we don't really have a lot of traffic there for that. Let's add, if it'll let me, I'm going to add a truck bay, just to try and pick up some more mail. I'm not sure if it's going to let me or not, but... There. Okay. That will mean they'll start picking up more mail. And then some of these mail boats might be worth cloning one of them at some point. They are set to full load both ways, so... Get an idea of how fast they are loading. Not very fast at all, is the answer. Yeah, we definitely need to be generating more mail here in order to have more boats, or at least that the boats we have to go more often to this side. Because it's really just mail that's a problem. Now, this passenger amount is still really high, but it is definitely dropping. So we are making progress here. Okay. 
Well, we'll let that go for a bit, and let's go check on... Uh, I can never remember what, which lake it was on. I remember I made two little lake fairies. I can never remember which lakes they're on. Which is a bit of a failing on my part, but anyway. Well, there's one of them. Trying to click on the dock there. Okay, that's totally fine. And over here where they drop off, that's not bad. A little bit high, but not bad at all. Okay, so this one's okay. And I know I have one more, but I don't remember where. I could even remember what side. Oh, right there. Okay. So these docks here are very, 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 very busy. They want both more passenger and more mail. And on this side, the docks also want more passengers and more mail, so that's an easy thing to accomplish. Let's say two more passenger boats. No, let's make it three. And maybe two more mail boats. There we go, that will work. That should be enough, I think. Get all these guys going. And then give them some time to work themselves into the massive, massive traffic jam here. It's a good thing that boats are allowed to just pass each other freely, or this would be a major traffic jam. Trying to do this with, say, a streetcar or a train track would be just a mess absolute mess but anyway all right so we'll give that some time to sort itself out and in the meantime our grain here is looking pretty good i don't know if we'll finish it this episode but we're going to get awfully awfully close this production can stay relatively samey or improve a little bit then we'll definitely be all right This is good. This is good. And we're just about into 1990. Okay. We haven't checked on the headquarters in a while. Let's go pop over there and see how. Well, that still looks about the same. Am I not leveled up? No, I guess not. Okay. Kind of thought I would have by now, but that's okay. It's still a very nice looking little building, so that's alright. Well, I think we're going to finish this mission this episode. I just don't know that we're going to have time to get the replacement for it in because we're getting pretty close to time control. And it still needs two more trips, I think. In the meantime, welcome to 1990. Okay, so that one is done. Um, so we can wait for it to be replaced. It looks like it's picked a wood mission. That's the iron ore mine. Where's the actual? Let's try zooming in a little bit more. Oh, there it is right there. Okay, so this sawmill. All right, well, we won't have time to actually set that up this episode, but that gives us something to do for next episode. So at this point, stay calm, and I hope you'll come and chill with me again in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye now.